What is up console superstars and how are you all doing today? I'm hoping you guys are all having if not going to have an awesome day and night Today is a very special day because we begin a brand new series in MLB the show 16 We are beginning a brand new franchise live rosters Challenge series basically or franchise challenge I want to say so the first thing we are going to do is use live rosters and the second thing we are going to do is make this a little special so we are going to go to the rank 30 team in the major leagues when using live rosters and it's also a team that has never won a world series so we are using the san diego padres and we are going to begin the 30 and over challenge with them and one unique thing about the 30 and over challenge is that we have three years basically to win a ring with the current staff or the current roster that we have and they all need to be over the age of 30 in terms of the 25 man roster so we have miguel cabrera and joey Votto to choose from as well as wade davis but i don't really focus on pitching i think i'm gonna go with miguel cabrera he is the triple crown winner he has won it multiple times and overall i think he is a much better hitter than joey Votto. so we are going with him now generally you don't want to be the 15th or 16th pick but because we are only drafting players 30 and over it's actually pretty good that we are the 15th slash 16th pick because most of the younger players actually go in the first couple of rounds so we are getting an advantage in a way i want to say in a specific way now we pick up ian kinsler instead of evan longoria because adrian beltray usually stays around until the eighth ninth round and him Nelson Cruz and David Ortiz they usually stay around into the late rounds so I'm actually gonna hold off on picking any of them and I'm actually not even really thinking about picking David Ortiz because once again we are in the National League and we have Miguel Cabrera already playing first base so we don't have any space for him and the highest overall after them three was Justin Verlander the only person that comes close to Justin Verlander is Hunter Pence but we do plan to get Nelson Cruz so I might as well get myself an ace to have in the starting rotation because most of the pitchers that we are going to get are going to be in the extremely late rounds where the only pitchers that are left are basically those that are past their prime in their 30s etc we pick up dexter fowler because we need a good outfield we need a speedy outfield which is a little bit ironic because we are picking up nelson cruz now and he might not be the fastest player in the world but his power definitely will make up for it so we have david ortiz and adrian beltray still available but i'm still not gonna pick them up because i think they can survive a couple of more rounds we now have alex gordon who is an 81 overall and jose bautista to choose from as we can see here jose bautista plays left field as well but his fielding is a 45 i mean look at this we look at Alex Gordon's fielding and it's an 89 we go back to Bautista and it's a 45 and I believe if we switch him to left field it might suffer even more so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the best defensive left fielder because we do need a pretty good solid outfield so we're gonna go ahead and pick up Alex Gordon as our left fielder and move on to round number seven here so Adrian Beltre and David Ortiz are still in the draft as i said previously we have rich hill available for us but now that i'm thinking about it we need a very good solid catcher and who is a better solid catcher than the defensive catcher of the year or the gold glove catcher of the year for the past like five years it's yadier molina who can give up on yadier molina i certainly can't we have rich hill still available for us right here but we are looking just to fill out the infield as you guys can see adrian beltray did not survive that round as he was picked up so we're looking at some third basemen that could replace him and we see a rookie right there but we also need to pick up a shortstop as soon as possible so i saw you now escobar right there and that very that interested me very much i also see as drupal cabrera now the shortstops they have more players over the age of 30 but right now you know escobar looks like an all-around hitting shortstop as well as as drupal cabrera but the fielding is what really breaks it we can't have a team of players who do not have their fielding up to par i want everybody to have good fielding because i do not want to lose because of errors so we end up getting you know escobar 
So we have a solid team all around. We have our catcher, first baseman, second baseman. We need a third baseman, but we have the outfield and everything else that comes with it. We are not going for a DH because, once again, we are in the National League. This team is looking pretty good so far. Pablo Sandoval is there, but he is 29, so if he was one year older, we would have been able to actually pick him up. Right now, I'm thinking between... Luis Balbuena and Danny Valencia. I think at the end of the day, I'm going to go ahead and pick the highest overall. I'm looking right now for some infielders that might have third base as their secondary position, but we cannot find any infielders that actually have their secondary base as third base. So we're going to go ahead and most likely pick up Danny Valencia because even though he is a little bit older than Luis Balbuena, he is the higher overall and in my opinion he has much better speed and speed is going to be a factor now we're going into the starting rotation we're going to pick up john lackey and we are most likely going to just be picking up pitchers that have the highest overall and are of the age required as we can see here victor martinez and albert pujols are still on the board if we were in the american league those would be two great pickups you never want to really draft the first baseman first but because miguel cabrera is such a good player we could not have passed up on him so we had to go for him especially in this 30 and overdraft urban santana is still on the board we are thinking about picking him up but i actually want a lefty that i can just stick in the middle of the rotation so i'm thinking about getting j a hap considering that justin verlander john lackey james shield and jason hamels are all righties and uh, something i just noticed right this instant as i'm drafting j a hap is that all of their first names begin with the letter J. How weird is that? I got five starting pitchers and all of them begin with the letter J. That is just incredible. Now we're just going to pick up relievers and we're going to pick the highest overall relievers in general. That is pretty much the simplest way to help your bullpen out in this situation. I do want to think about picking up Bartolo Colon just to have an ace in the minor leagues and if he gets hot we could definitely call him up and I know he will be a fan favorite for you guys so right now I'm looking through and seeing if there are any left-handed bullpen pitchers available for us and Oliver Perez is a left-handed bullpen pitcher over the age of 30 or at least of the age of 30 that we can pick up and we're just looking at the options that we have available but once again we are taking the highest overall and we are so far into round 17 so we are making it pretty far and as you guys can see we do have a decent team available for us so before you guys comment down anything below i want you guys to bring your predictions to the comment section and tell me what do you think our record will be by the time the season ends do you guys think we are a wild card team or a team that can take it all in terms of the division? And I also want you guys to predict if you think we will make it to the playoffs or if we can win the World Series in general. Right now, I'm just finishing up picking up the bullpen. Probably going to focus on getting an extra couple of batters soon. So Carlos Beltran is definitely an option. He's a very good hitter. We have Ichiro Suzuki available for us as well. But we're going to get Carlos Beltran because even though he's pretty old, he can still rake. And that's what we definitely need on this team. Now, we are looking at Ichiro Suzuki. He has 75 speed. So that is definitely somebody that we could pick up. I want a player that can just come in as a pinch runner. And really, there are not many players over the age of 30 that even have the speed of Ichiro Suzuki but then just look at it and Ichiro Suzuki is over the age of 40 actually and we end up picking him up so we are now moving on to round 23 we got our little speedster right there and we almost drafted Bartolo Colon but instead I'm gonna pick up Justin Morneau because he will be a great option to come off the bench to hit for the pitcher we want to have at least three good hitters that come off the bench Ichiro Suzuki is definitely a possibility but having too many outfielders on the bench is definitely not a good idea in my opinion especially with the prone Yadier Molina so let's see if we can do anything about that we pick up Justin Morneau and now we are heading over to the 24th round and why not pick up Bartolo Colon you guys would want to see him anyways and the 25th round is most likely going to be the last round that I am showing in this video today so what I'm going to pick up for the 25th round is the final 
relief pitcher and it's going to be a lefty in Javier Lopez and with that we are going to simulate the rest of the draft I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and this draft if you guys want to see more make sure you guys thumbs up the video if you want to see more MLB the show 16 make sure you guys subscribe and as always guys have a great day and night stay positive keep on grinding keep on smiling and I'll catch you all in the next one peace out console superstars and remember to leave your predictions down below